Hello, let's show you how to connect Z83 Max with your smartphone. This is Samsung smartphone. You can do it with Android or iPhone. They are the same process. So first thing you do is you go to the watch and then you swipe down. Then you power on the Bluetooth of your watch like this. Then you go to your phone, go to your Bluetooth of your phone, click on it and click on search. You are going to see Z83 Max. You click on it and allow it to pair. Click on pair and then you are good to go. Firstly, this is the very first connection you are supposed to do. With this connection, the watch can make and receive call. This is the very first connection you are going to do. With this connection, you can make and receive call with this watch. Mind you, this is the very first connection. With this connection, you can make and receive call. Okay? So you can see it. As I dial the number, it's pop up on the phone. Fine. This is the very first connection. Take note of it. Then the second connection is, you go to your either Play Store or iStore, and you are going to download this app, Audi Fit. Audi Fit app. You are going to download this app, Audi Fit. Download it to your phone. Open it. Click on Agree and wait for it to load. So when you are up here, come to the device. There is a menu, a sub menu at the bottom called device. Click on it. You see, scan the device. Click on it. And what click on next allow while using the app allow ensure that you grant all the necessary permission that is requested so you're going to see this click on it it's connecting now we are connected now the watch is now connected to the phone fully Using the connection from the app enables you to get notifications like WhatsApp, text message, and any other thing. So when you have a, a WhatsApp text message or any other notification on the on your phone, it's going to appear on the watch as well. That is the reason why you are using the app. As well as when you are doing your fitness, your running, your jogging, your step counts, it's going to synchronize with this. And then this data here will populate. You are going to be seeing all your step counts, your heart rate, your sports sports monitor in general so now let's go back to the my device click on this notification mm -hmm. click on ok it's going to take you to this place in your phone look for how they fit and power it on this will enable you to get notification constantly on the watch so go back to the go back to the app let's go back to the app now we have different different apps here that you want to receive notification firstly put on the call so that you can see the person that is calling you click on it allow put on this call you can put on the sms if you want to also receive sms make sure you grant for the permission then you can put on your whatsapp and any other messenger any other messenger app that you want ensure that you don't put on a lot of app because it may drain your battery much because the more they synchronize, the more it's going to use power. So just put on the ones that you know you are using, uh, const that you want to receive the notification on the watch. So you can always set it at any time. So if you come to this place, you can click on this take picture. If you want to use the watch as your shooter, you can use that. Then you have this fine device. So you click on it, the device, the watch will start vibrating. So in case your watch is somewhere you are trying to locate it, just go to the app, click on that find device, it's going to vibrate. So we have different functions here that you can play with. And then you can also use your weather function. With time, when there is an upgrade, you can come to firewall upgrade and you upgrade the software on the watch. So when there is a new update, you come to this place, you upgrade the subject of software of the watch. Now you can also change the background picture the wallpaper that your watch is having by generally you can screw here and change these are the default one that comes just screw you can screw to anyone you want so but when you want to put a custom on your picture for example you can come to this small 
you go to customize and from this particular place you select the picture that you want choose a background and you're going to click this button here for you to what push it in so also there is if you have internet it's going to show some watch face here some watch which yes there are some watch which that you can download from here so we also have digital home, but because there is no internet connection you can it's, it's not loading them so you need that connection for that particular aspect so this is the essence of this app connecting it it's quite very easy remember it's two parts the first part is connecting the watch and the phone through bluetooth for you to make and receive call then the second part is what we did so to get notification that is it so now should in case you want to change your language just go to the setting look for click on this button look for the setting icon there is a setting yeah this is the setting click on it and then you can wind this one to look for language now you can see language you see the one they wrote aa so that's for language click on it you can send it any other language that you want so if mistakenly you put it in another language other than the language that you know maybe english you can use this process just look for the setting icon then look for aa look for aa you click on it and then you do your setting so there are other settings here you can do timer you can set a password remember that you must remember the password that you set. the default password is zero four times zero 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 so remember that when you set a password if you forgot the password then you will not be able to access the watch and we will not be able to provide solution for you so ensure that you remember your password so we have the vibration setting you can set different levels of vibration if you want it to vibrate very hard put it in number three if you want it very low put it in number one so you have the gesture control you can power this on so when you are having a call just do your hand like this do it like this when you are having a call you just do like this it's going to pick the call okay gesture control so we have other things that you can set you can set the brightness you can reduce the screen brightness and you can increase it as well so we have the smart island is also a function that you can use to so this is basically what the watch is there are other there are other uh, I am menu of the watch like the music if you click on this you will need to you will need to go to your phone first of all and select a music app that you use you select a music app and possibly you play a music let me play something so you can hear it so it's playing on the watch right now i can pause it i can continue it i can increase it increase the volume you can increase the volume. I hope you're seeing it. You can increase the volume. You can reduce it from here. You can nest it. You can back it back. And you can pause. So once you have done that, at any time you can access from this music menu and uh, connect with your phone music. So that's it. These are all that. You can check your BP, though it's not accurate. Or you can check your BP with it. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.